Today we're going to talk about the five most unique packages uh, that Matt has. Sounds like a bunch of my penises. Unique packages. Today we're going to talk about the five most unique record packagings that Matt owns. Unique and cool. Unique. And cool. <laughs> a lot of times labels now are really trying to... They're like stepping up their game. They're stepping game. up their game and trying to make it more like, like interesting art. And like art. something, it, it, expression of what the music is love. based off of the actual presentation. Yeah. And as, as a collector, um, you know, that doesn't affect the music listening aspect of it, but having pieces that you appreciate... Enhances your experience of yes. buying records. First record that I want to talk about is a little band called Have a Nice Life and their debut album, Death Consciousness. It touches on a lot of interesting things like post-rock, ambient drone, um, a little bit of industrial, and even shoegaze at times. I was about to say, it kind of sounds like um, Blend of Butchers. Yeah, but it, it changes throughout the whole album a lot. It's actually, the album's over an hour long, well over an hour. I think it's close to an hour and a half. It's very introspective. It makes you think about a lot of stuff. Uh, that, you know, maybe is in the recesses of your brain. It's a really thick, nice gatefold. Uh, the spine's huge. I like when there's a big, thick spine. You can spot it from across the room. This is one of those records. But what was cool was that they just reissued this uh, anniversary edition because originally it was really hard to get the record. Uh, there were a couple different colors. I picked this really pretty green. I think it was limited to 400 copies. Did it come alone or did it come with stuff? It came with this 75 page booklet written by a Massachusetts history professor. What? It goes into the mystery behind this cult run by this guy named Antioch. He ran a nihilistic cult. People feeling like, you know, everything's pointless and life is pointless. Death consciousness, it's kind of like it ties in with the album really well. And it's a really heavy read. Like I read it once and a lot of it went over my head, but I definitely like want to sit down and listen to the album and read it simultaneously. So I, th I think that's pretty cool. I think it's a great band. I think everyone should give this album a chance. You know, it's not for everyone, but I think anyone has a chance of enjoying it. Might be too dark for me, but wow, that's awesome. <laughs> my next one is... Uh, one of my favorite albums to come out in a while, especially hip hop. Mr. Childish Gambino's Because the Internet. And this is like a book. You have this really nice spine, and it feels nice. It says it's like metallic, glossy cover. Yeah, there's this really cool picture of him on the cover. Back is really cool too. Sleeves are really trippy and cool. Did this come with anything? It sure did. This came out on Record Store Day last year, and uh. There's 5,000 copies of it, but you, still, you can still find it. But basically, it was released before this in a bootleg fashion with a white cover with the, the name stenciled on it and then hand numbered. And those go for a lot of money. That's uh, cool. But this one, I think, is the cooler edition of the two because not only does it come with this really nice packaging, it comes with this. This is a screenplay that Donald Glover wrote. What? It's a 73 page screenplay that the, the concepts and, and scenes and themes fit in with all the songs on the album. And it tells a story Dude. that the album is accompanied with. And no one does that. Like, Wait, what the heck? Yeah. He's a genius. Yeah, the album's amazing. I mean, it's one of my favorite hip hop albums in a long time. The next one I'm gonna talk about is Black Moth Super Rainbow and their uh, latest album, Cobra Juicy. There was a Kickstarter to support it, and all the Kickstarter backers got a unique version and an orange vinyl. Nickelodeon Orange. Nickelodeon Orange, as she calls it. The gatefold is really cool. It's this really kind of like trippy, weird picture of uh, these like orange men, orange head men. Music's, right. you know, psychedelic, it's pop. Tobacco is the main guy. He has his own solo project too, which is really cool. The reason why the packaging is so cool is because it uses a lenticular cover. But this one is the coolest I've ever seen. So it's just this amazing lenticular cover that's so cool. Um, you know, you gotta back the Kickstarter to get it. It's really, really pricey in the aftermarket. I could look at this all day. I sometimes do. <laughs> Those are the bad days. <laughs> is this like their first album or their most no, this popular? Is or like what? Not, neither. It's not their first or their most popular. It's the most recent. Um, all their stuff is great. They really don't have a bad album. The next artist is on a label called In The Clouds. They Where? Up there. They are one of my favorite vinyl record labels because all of their releases have something really unique to them in terms of the packaging or the presentation. This is absolutely no different. Um, it's a band called Step Friends. Their debut album, All We've Got, is uh, really, really good. It's really fun. Uh -huh. um, it's just pop rock to its finest. What they did for this was they told their fans to send in a picture of them hanging out with their friends and they collaged all of them 
and made this amazing front and back that you know all of their fans contributed to visually. I think that's I've ne never been done before, and it looks so cool. It's like I don't know any of these people. Um, but you are all united by all united friends. through this one album, and it's a great album. What's really cool is I'm in one of the pictures. Oh my gosh, it's you! Uh huh. That little dot is Matthew. It's cool as they have on the inside some thanks and credits. You know, they're really nice guys. And it's a really interesting, like, sleeve because it's, it's, it's lightweight, it's not super thick. It has this cool diagonal cut that the record sits in, which is really neat. I've never uh, seen a sleeve like this. People should do that more because it's so hard to put records in and out. But the coolest part, I haven't even said yet. They did a release on In The Clouds with, I don't remember if it was 300, 400, 500, some amount of mixed color of records where every record was a different random color. You didn't know what you were gonna get. But then they did 50 lathe cuts. Basically what that is, is it's a hand cut record on black vinyl. Um, some say the what, sound... What do you mean by hand cut? Uh, they use a, a special machine to actually cut a small amount of the records as opposed to going to an actual press and pressing a large quantity. Um, some say that the uh, quality of the record is worse on a cut like that, but I heard this record and I was blown away. I thought it sounded wonderful. Cool. Um, but what they did for all 50 of those was they recorded at the end of the record a personalized message for every one of the 50 people that bought it. Can we listen to yours? Absolutely. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. What's up? This is Greg and Johnny. And we are step friends. We're talking like twins. And we've been doing this for a little way while. Way too long. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say way too long. <laughs> um, hey, Matt, thanks so much for buying the record. Buying the record. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we hope you... Have a great day. And we, we hope you live forever. <laughs> step friends, check them out. Thanks guys for the message. Step friends, you just made everyone else need to step their game up. Number one. Another In The Clouds release. This is a band called Owl, O-W-E-L, and this is their self-titled album. And what type of music is it? It's, it's like uh, kind of poppy rock with a little bit of emo edge to it. Okay. Um, really pretty the guy's a great voice and the music is just very peaceful and fun this is a very limited release of uh i think 300 copies of this when it came out and now it's very sought after on this beautiful beautiful blue record oh my goodness dude yeah that's so pretty so that's really nice it really accents the kind of like bluish grayscale cover really well um but the coolest thing they do is actually inside the jacket this record comes with a piano inside. And by that, I literally mean... What? The song I just made up is really good. Wait, are you being serious? They have a piano inside of their sleeve. That's that you not can true! Play. Well, no, oh it, it is true, because it's right here. Oh my, okay. This this is crazy. This is my number, y'all. I'm just kidding. This is such an in, like inventive, unique thing that I've never seen any and other record do. And they gave you do. a thanks. Thanks for being such yeah, a I got dude. Yeah, I got it signed. Matt, you made me realize why I love music. Dude, I'm your number one fan now. This band should be blowing up any day. They're about to release their next album. They just released an EP. Um, new album's coming out hopefully this year. Wow. Get them on your radar. If you didn't pick this up, if you ever see one for a reasonable price online, grab it. There's a piano in it. Dude, I don't want any of my records anymore because I just want this. <laughs> Star Wars. Off key. <laughs> Those are my five favorite. There are many others I don't own that are even cooler or just as cool. I will be looking for them in my hunts, and when we find another five, I will make another video with five new ones. That's so exciting. Um, we have a lot of cool vinyl videos coming your way, uh, with showing off my massive, disgusting collection. Yes, guys, tell us which ones you like the best out of what we showed you, and hopefully you get to start listening to their music, because I will. 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 <laughs> I'm Matt. And I'm Sandy. And this is Damn It Sandy. Cool record edition.